Hello, Think Natalia community. Today, I have another incredible guest with me here today. Somebody who has a super interesting journey that he went through when it comes to his LinkedIn social selling, communication, positioning. Our paths met a while ago. We met through a virtual event. I was a keynote speaker there. And obviously the keynote couldn't have been that bad because after that, we decided to work together. But without further ado, Morten, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me here, Natalia. You're most welcome. Would you like to share your story and what it is that you do with us? Because I feel and I know that you can explain it so much better than I do. So I'm throwing the ball onto your side. Who are you, Morten? And what is it that you do? And your story? All right. So if you look at my LinkedIn profile, it basically says a smart uh, business wizard and author, mm -hmm. helping you to start your own online business so you can earn more, do more and enjoy more. So that's, in a way, my, my tagline. Mm -hmm. And that actually explains everything without actually saying anything. <laughs> I mean, it says actually is like, who are you and what do you do? And uh, what is it that I get out of it? That's pretty cool. But what's your unique method? And why did you decide to do that? And this is where the story kicks in. Exactly. So uh, just to give a little bit of background, originally, I'm an engineer, and I have started several technology companies in my life, uh, four companies, I guess. Wow. And what I found was that um, going from being an employee to an employer was actually the right step for me i really wanted to start my own business and uh, that's why i've done it four times but starting your own business is not really easy uh because it requires a lot of work long time before you get any well money back and of course after a while i had lots of employees over 100 employees and uh, investors and all that stuff and what I found was that it really did not give me any freedom at all. I was looking for freedom, but also, of course, looking for a better income and all that stuff. And the result after many years was stress and more stress and even more stress. Yeah. And uh, so it, it, it was fun to some extent, but it mm -hmm. really burnt me totally out. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for a, a smarter way to work, and that's what I'm doing today. So I'm basically, I found a smarter way and I'm helping others to also find a smarter way. And the reason for that is I know that there are so many people out there and we are talking about LinkedIn here. So on LinkedIn, uh, that's more like a business community where people talk about what they do and so on and so on. And I know that many of these people on LinkedIn and in general in the world, many people, especially from age like, like uh, 35 and up, um, having been employed for many years many of these people they they have a dream of starting their own business yeah. but they really don't dare to do it because it's well what what should they start with what should exactly. they exactly yeah, yeah yeah i agree and what's how can they find a unique business idea that really um really can work and and how can they actually get this done without having to invest lots of money and very often they need investors, but that means that they need to give away their company also. Oh, yeah. sure. and, and when you are 35 to 55 years old, um, that's a little bit different from when you are 20 years old, because when you're 20, you, you just have, don't have any responsibilities, you don't have any experience. But when you are a little bit older, like I was when I started this business, then my intentions were a little bit different. My intention was to have more freedom, help others to have more freedom and not necessarily to work myself to death. Right. I like that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's that's so true, because why? I mean, why getting out of um, the hamster wheel or corporate hall, as some people call it, and then designing your own prison? <laughs> it's right. like, yeah, it's like basically you just copy and paste it and now created that that feeling of being miserable and being stuck and not being able to experience freedom on your own. You just did copy and paste. Now you're your own slave. Like basically it's as if you and a mini version of you sits on your shoulders with the carrots. And it's like, ah, but the carrot is just a little bit too far away. Why? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so, so when I said that I have got, I have had enough of the traditional way of doing business. I decided I actually I wrote a book about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this book, there are six different points about what I was looking for. And one of the things I was looking for is that 
when I'm going to start my new business now, I will not have any employees. I will not have investors. I will not have fixed working hours. Nice. So I will work very differently from what is normal. And still, I want to make a lot of money. And I want to uh, make a difference in the world. Mm -hmm. And I think there are lots of people out there that have the same feeling, but I have no idea what they're going to do. Mm. And that's basically what I can help them with because I found what works for me. And I'm basically helping others to do exactly the same as what I'm doing. Wonderful. And are you, do you do that globally or do you primarily work with people from a specific geographic uh, place like Northern Europe? Uh, you also didn't mention where you're actually based. Well, I, I live in Norway. So um, I, uh, I work from Norway, but I work internationally. Actually, most of my business comes from other countries. Uh, mm -hmm. So I have business now in about 30 countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it is very, very international. And that includes uh, most of Europe, uh, some countries in Asia, and of course, US, uh, Canada, and so on and so on, Australia. So uh, most of the Western countries around the world, in, in addition to uh, some Asian countries. Cool. So that's exciting to be having yeah. a really yeah, international business, big turnover every month without having any employees, without having any investment, no financial risk. Yep, so yep. Um, yeah, I like that. It's very different from what I used to do. I like it. I, I mean, and the thing is, you allowed yourself and you didn't say, oh, no, that's impossible or, oh, no, that's just a dream. You you said, oh, you, you stepped back, you said, this is what I want. This is who I am. I know mm -hmm. I deserve this. Okay, so what's the next step? Okay, you found the system, the system found you, whatever, and you now do it. Before we move on to the next question, what's the name of your book and where can we find it? All right, so my book is what you can see behind me here. It's called, called Boundless Success. Mm -hmm. And this is a book I've co-written with a few others, but my, the first chapter in the book is mine. And mm -hmm. uh, you can find that if you go to mortonandersononline.com. Mm -hmm. so you'll actually find more information about me, but also how you can get this uh, book. Uh, you can actually download it for free. So mortonandersononline.com. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'll mention it in the comments. Okay, so let's move the conversation towards, come on, you're already successful. You live your dream life. Why do you need a LinkedIn unicorn coach? Like, why did you initially approach us? What was the initial challenge? Well, I am basically looking for more people like me, meaning people that want to make a difference in their lives and also mm -hmm. wants to help other people. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, these people are out there. It's, it's thousands or millions of people like that. But in order to find these people, uh, the natural place to go, I think, is LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. But using LinkedIn is... Um, well, it requires some skills, to be honest. And uh, <laughs> the, the skills you need on LinkedIn is very different from the skills you need on, for example, Facebook or, or, uh, or Instagram. So what I decided to do is to go and, and, and listen to and learn from the best. And that's what I felt when I met you the first time when I saw you on this uh, online webinar, um, I guess one year ago or something like that. And I thought, wow. This person really knows what she's talking about. Thank you. And uh, so I basically uh, scheduled a web or, or a, a meeting with you, an interview with you, and you told me a little bit more about your system, your program. And I felt that this is exactly the right thing for me, that you, you know what I need to learn. So I signed up and I'm really happy that I did because what I have learned during this year with uh, just uh, both watching your videos and, and the, the former program, but also being on your weekly coaching with uh, several people in the same, um, well, several other of your students, uh, it, it has taught me things that I really didn't know. I, you know, sometimes you, you don't know what you don't know. Of course, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I learned that every day. It's like, oh, I had no clue about that. Oh, I was ignorant here. Oh, how could I not know that? But exactly. this is beautiful. This is exciting. Yeah. yeah. So, so I, I thought, well, social media is actually easy because you just write something and you post some pictures. And but if you don't have a real plan for it, and if you don't do it consistently, and if you don't know how to communicate with the people that connects with you the, the right way. Uh, then it really doesn't work. <laughs> and also, yep. 
this is also about building a brand. So, yeah. so getting your brand out there in a positive way is uh, really, really important. So I think the one of the first things I learned from you in your program was the importance of having a very clearly defined avatar. Sure. That's really, really important. And it's not that I didn't know that from before, but your training made that even more clear for me. And mm -hmm. I went through all of the questions that you had, and I really worked hard on finding my avatar. Yeah. That's also why I mentioned now in the beginning that um, uh, I'm looking basically for people 35 to 55 years old. Earlier, I was looking for anyone that was a company. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> uh, no matter where they're from and no matter the background. But that really, I, I mean, I, I narrowed it down to a certain avatar yes, and yes. that works much better. And now I'm writing post to that specific person and uh, that give me, give me the right people and not just people that will just steal my time. If you understand what oh, I mean. Absolutely. And I remember, <laughs> I remember we had these aha moments in our group coaching where um, other people also had a similar challenge. And I said, so what's the name of your custom avatar? Is it Elisa? Is it a Thomas? How old are they? Okay, where do they live? What hobbies do they have? Nice, what kind of job do they have? Okay, did you go to Google or any kind of other, you know, search engine and print out pictures? I want to see their faces. Okay, why can't they sleep at night? What are their dreams? What are their insecurities? What are their deepest secrets and whatever? So I was like asking, 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 asking. And I, was like, I know that sometimes people think like, Ugh. but you and a few other people who were like, oh, really, you really want me to go that deep? Yes, I want you to go that deep. But once you pushed through that, once you did the homework, it was so much easier for you to create content and um, people also resonated with that. We talk about that in a second because I could see that you you have your your poster out there, right? There you go. I have this one, I actually two avatars Yeah. There with pictures and uh, some notes about who they are. So these are the people I write to. So I write some posts for these people and some posts for these people. And for everybody who doesn't understand the immense power of it, I teach everybody who decides to work with me that every piece of content is a virtual conversation with your ideal or dream client. So if you write or talk as if you would like to talk to anybody on the street, nobody will feel connected to what you have to say. But if you, every piece, uh, like every post is a very specific post for a very specific person with a very specific problem that will create connection that will create trust storytelling um, a potential relationship so when you have a picture and you have a name and you have all of this then you know you create a piece of content and then you say okay cool and then you say okay Thomas and Anne I have something to tell you what do you think so you have pictures there and then you read your text and then you, you read it and read it and then you look at them and think so, what do you think? And then you're in a judge or you're not, you're not your inner judge, your intuition will tell you it's like, yeah, and actually doesn't give it because I didn't address a problem. I, I pretended to write to whoever. So, and thank you so much for the feedback. Let me rewrite that for you. You rewrite mm -hmm. the piece of content and then it's like, and okay, second attempt, what do you think? And then this is the beauty of content that really, really works. And uh, yeah, so you start doing that. And again, for some people, it might think like, oh, what is she talking about? It makes, um, it makes all the difference in the world. But I stopped talking. Tell us um, <laughs> how you experienced the change. Yeah, I agree with you. It makes uh, absolutely all the difference. And it also makes it, in a way, let's say, okay to... Uh, forget about or, or not to have response from everybody else. Uh, because sometimes it's like, uh, why? I mean, I, I want to talk to absolutely everyone. And if only I write something that I'm really proud of and just two people comments on it. But if those two are there to write people, then it's really, really good. It's much better to have like real comments from two real prospects instead of having like a thousand comments from people that really don't care. 100%. And this is such a massive learning as well, because the majority of people think that social media, aka attention games, all about all the likes and all the comments. 
Yes, and I mean, fantastic that you have that. Great, you got visibility. But as you said, are these the right people? Because if these people don't care, if these people just click like but don't read your text, how do you want to pay your bills? Exactly. Um, yeah. So, I mean, also some of our most successful posts were those that didn't have much engagement. The engagement was okay. But there was always this one person or two people who said, you know what, that's the last thing I needed to hear. I'm ready. When do we hop on a call? Hmm. This is the magic of content creation that writes where you write from your core or the core of your essence and what you want to do towards the needs of an audience to really inspire and to show them who you are. And again, through that build connection. So that's awesome. Tell us a little bit more about um, the content. So how did um, how, because you created content before, um, and now you create content very specific to your ideal customer. When you compare these two, um, what are the differences? Is it the picture? Is it the language? Is it the storytelling? Is it something totally different? Like if you would have to explain it to an alien who's like, I don't know the difference. What's the difference? Well, uh, let's talk about the pictures first. So that's one thing I learned from you that always use your own picture. Right. So that's what I started. I, I mean, earlier, I just used like uh, stock photos or or um, some quotes written in a special way or something like that. That is not really appealing. Everybody else is doing that. And that's uh, not really appealing. And uh, brand building is about building you or me. Right. So I need to have my picture. That's some, that's one of the things I learned. And I have never really liked to use my own picture. Mm -hmm. But after this, I have started to, to do it still. And, uh, you know, I, I was just in the US for, for two weeks now or two and a half weeks. And uh, together with some, some colleagues. And what we decided before we went was that this trip, we will take a lot of pictures of each other. Yes! <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so, oh, thank you! Made my day. Yes. <laughs> So, so because I, I, I have always been the one that has been taking picture of everybody else, but I hardly have any picture of me, but now we actually took a lot of picture of each other just for this reason. Great. So I think my, I will have much more um, good pictures to use in my own post later, because I will always use my own picture. That is the brand uh, building. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, that makes me so happy because I know how big the hurdle can be for some people, not saying that it was for you, but for some people. So going or taking that step, once you've taken it, there is no way back in the sense that an expanded mind can't shrink back into the awareness level before that. It's like, you know it, you've seen it, you've experienced it. Most probably it, it was even fun. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> So it's not like the camera's eating you up. It's like, ah, it's the, the black hole that just sucks you in. <laughs> um, so that's also awesome. cool. That was super exciting. Uh, what else do I want to know? Let me think, let me think. I want to know if through your work on LinkedIn, uh, did your network uh, expand? Did it become uh, bigger, um, if it became bigger or if it expanded, was it with the right people? did maybe also your mindset towards approaching people or writing messages or contact requests change? Tell us more about this whole networking network expansion bubble, um, especially out of the perspective of before uh, the LinkedIn unicorn and now after our collaboration. Yes, it, it, the, my, my way of doing uh, or communicating with people has changed a lot. And what I've seen, I mean, before this, I worked more on Facebook mm -hmm. and I see the way to communicate on Facebook is very different from the way to communicate on LinkedIn. It's actually quite different uh, because on Facebook people, I mean, it's more like be, being social and talking about uh, not, not actually getting to the point yeah. on LinkedIn. You can get to the point much faster because mm -hmm. people are there. Of, to the business. For, for business reasons yeah and so it's okay to start to talk about business and and the communication that where you on, on facebook you will gradually maybe through 10 different messages gradually uh, go into the business part on, on linkedin you can just start with that it's still a way to do it 
that you don't write too long messages and, and that well, you buy my stuff. We also yeah, don't do exactly. that. So, but, but, but still, it is easier because you, you need to know that it's different than the other, other social medias. And it's for me, it's actually much easier, much better to use LinkedIn for that matter, because oh, nice. I, I like to go directly and, and, and talk about people's challenges and how I can help them and if they're interested in working with me. And all that's this chit chat about everything else on, on Facebook. That's uh, not what I enjoy to do. <laughs> Same here. I'm like, can we get there faster? I don't have time. <laughs> yeah. Right. And Instagram is even worse. That's hopeless. I really hate it. <laughs> I know what you mean. I feel your pain. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, being German, being straight to the point, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm on LinkedIn. It's like, if you want something, I'm on LinkedIn. It's like on yeah. Instagram, you get a selfie and some hashtag food. Um, every now and then but um, yeah again both platforms or all the three platforms have the target audience facebook is fantastic instagram is fantastic linkedin is fantastic and it massively depends on your target audience and your own character and how your brand communicates and how you like to spend your time so many different factors so for morton and for me linkedin is simply better huh? so just for yeah. clarification because i, because I am looking time. for yeah, because I'm looking for business people that I can help, that I can coach, that I can have a cooperation with. Exactly. Uh, if I was only going to sell a simple product, I would probably use Instagram, uh, a product I, I can, could post there, I could have a picture of the, of the before and after picture, whatever it was, depending on the product. But in my case, it's a little bit different. And then looking for professional people that want to change their life. And that's uh, so. So I have experienced that over this year with you and uh, i feel that i mean you asked me have my my audience uh, increased and yes it has mm -hmm. and i do get more uh, feedback now on linkedin than i did before and that's a that's a really really great thing still have a lot to do so i have a, a big plan of how i will actually use all of this to get the the real results but um but i think this training has been the one of the best investments I've done in social media. And I've done several investments, to be honest. And, and this one has been the most important, yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> um, OK, what else could we or what else interests me? Um, lead generation from mm. the commenting, from the DMing behind the scenes. Did you also meet some, maybe a handful of potential prospects or leads? Because, yeah, of course, um, building your brand and creating content all of that is important but at the end of the day you are a business person and you want to do business so mm -hmm. for me it's always important that people also get into the lead generation zone um, and ideally also start to get clients on the phone it always really depends on um, in which phase of business is this person how good are their processes within and so on and so forth so what um, happened in this bubble for you right so yes i have uh, i have got more clients uh, but remember for me a client is not actually somebody that is buying something from me because i'm not really selling something yeah. i am helping people to get started with their own businesses so that they can earn more money so it's like it's very different because people think that a client is a person that will end up paying you something mm. that is actually not the case in in uh, for, for me so once people understand that i'm not actually trying to sell them something i'm mm. trying to help them and mm. if i can help them that will help both of us because we will both make more money mm. uh, that's that's a really really good thing so um, my job is to get people to understand that fact and yeah. uh, that is starting to happen now and uh, for, for, for the right people. And again, in uh, it, it's about the right avatar, like we talked about earlier. Um, so when I communicate with the right kind of people that are more likely to understand this concept and that have the dreams that I am looking for to help them with, um, among that clientele or that the avatar, I have found uh, several leads and I know that I'll find uh, hundreds or more. Nice. Amazing. Yep. Keep up the work in this area as well. Mm, let's also address the weekly calls that we had or the yes. tribe. What, where, 
insights worth sharing? How did you benefit from the tribe? Was it from learning from the other people? Are there maybe some collaborations or friendships that came out of that? Over to you. Okay, so the weekly calls has been very, very important. Uh, the two things are important with the weekly calls. Uh, one thing is that I am able to ask concrete questions about what I need to know. So when I'm listening to your trainings and I'm uh, applying what I learn and I have questions around it, you will answer on the weekly trainings. But the same goes also for the others on the tribe. Let's say that we are four or five, six people, maybe seven, eight people on these calls, and they also have relevant questions. And I guess maybe 80% of the questions other people have are also relevant for me. So just listening to other people's questions and how they have solved it and your answers to other people has been really, really important for me. So that's probably having even more important than the answers you have given to my concrete questions. Wow. So it's, it's a really great way of doing things. Absolutely. And I really recommend people to really be on those uh, weekly calls because that um, you learn so much from other people's challenges and uh, solutions. I absolutely agree yeah. because that goes back to, I don't know what I don't know. So exactly. maybe somebody asked uh, whatever, a specific question about that topic. And I think, oh, no thought about that. How would I do that? Or somebody could have been, let's say in module three and you are in module seven mm -hmm. and talks about module three and figures out something and you think, oh, well, that's so much smarter. Well, emotional or, or memo, mental note to myself. Let me go back to module three, fix that and uh, continue in module seven and eight. So that was what I absolutely love with the community that we have built that we have. Um, we had a pretty strict filter. So I always um, had a little bit of a conversation with my former mentor who was like, boy, you could have onboarded this personal bell as well. And you could have closed that person. I was like, no, they were energy suckers or they, they wouldn't fit to the rest of the tribe. It's like, you don't have to work with them. So I, well, we gave our best that we only take people on board who say they're willing to do the work. And I know they fit to the rest. Plus there is a level of um, abundance thinking there so that we don't create competition or like oh my God, oh my God, oh my within the group. And uh, I think my team and I, we, we were good at filtering because the feedback that we got is we never had any person complaining or feeling, um, I don't know, like, oh my God, why is this person in there as well? Because we have the same topic. No, you actually don't. Um, right. So that was, yeah, thanks for mirroring that back. Because um, for us, it was very, very important to, to make sure that the right people join together. Yeah. Okay, I think these were the major aspects that I wanted to know. Is there still any story that we forgot to mention? Then um, you can gladly share that with us. And if not, what's the best way to get in contact with you, Martin? Or let me just say this first, that uh, um, I'm really thankful for having you as a coach because uh, you speak from experience. You are not just a person that have read something about and, and try to just make money on uh, people like me. Uh, you know what you're talking about because you have done it yourself and you are constantly posting things yourself. You're posting videos, you're posting uh, posts, you're, you're doing everything that you ask us to do. Yeah. And that is trustworthy and that is really, really important. So you, you, you lead with uh, what you are doing and that's an inspiration for us. So that, I think that's very, very important. And you're also easy to understand. So, I mean, when you explain things, it's understandable. And um, you're also very entertaining to listen to. So that makes it fun too. Thank you. Thank you so, <laughs> right. so much. Thanks. Um, yeah, so in order to get in contact with me, uh, of course, finding me on uh, LinkedIn would be, uh, of course, the, the easy way. And I guess you can put the, the LinkedIn uh, link here and also mortenandersononline.com. Uh, that's uh, probably the best place to go to learn a little bit more of what I can do and also to get in contact with me. You okay. have all my contact details there. Perfect. And download the book. Yeah, and also download the book, exactly. Perfect. Oh, 
Awesome. Yeah. Good. So I'll make sure that I link to everything that you've mentioned. We'll publish that interview all over our social media channels to hopefully also show other people who don't know that you exist yet, who might be the right fit and say, Yalla, get over and have that phone call with Morten because he really cares. And now you've got the opportunity to get to know him a little bit better. So once again, also from my side, thank you so, 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 so much for your trust, your time, your curiosity, your sense of exploration and wonder of doing things, of trusting and, 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 and testing and screwing things up and then doing it in a different way. And then, you know, growing on the journey, that is what really excites me. Um, and um, you are another wonderful example that with the right steps, um, everybody can design a communication strategy, a brand for right. themselves that will help, um, yeah, achieve their individual goals and do that in alignment with their own values and in their own time. So once again, a huge thank you from my side. We definitely keep in touch. Um, maybe, you know, we'll meet in Dubai or if I'll mm -hmm. be in Europe next time, it would be fantastic mm -hmm. to also meet you in person. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and until then, I see you on LinkedIn. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the interview. And uh, yeah, looking forward to see you. Detail. <laughs>